Hey everyone, it's the Monster Turtle here, and today I want to talk about the importance of allowing your turtle to hibernate. When your turtles are hibernating, um, they pretty much are sleeping for the whole winter. Or they're not sleeping, they're acting really sluggish for the whole winter, so they're not burning up as much energy, you're using that energy to stay alive, and they sleep a lot, and they don't eat, and they probably won't get any rays either, so that's five things that they don't do. Um, pretty much, these, uh, if you don't allow your turtle to hibernate, you also run the risk of giving your turtle kidney failure, and, uh, you don't get, if you're trying to breed turtles, you don't get that good breeding results. Now, I'm trying to breed these two, but they are not even close to being ready to breed yet. He He's already fully matured. He, he has his long claws and everything. If you can see that, I'll just show it to you real quick. There you go. And his tail is all long and stuff, so he's like pretty much the exact size that a fully mature male would get. Um, now he's not the, like, full-size grown yet. I don't believe he is. He may be. I don't know. I've seen bigger males, but that's just genetics, I believe, or how much food they're getting. But here, I got Rocky. And Rocky, um, she's a female radiated slider. She's not, she's about the same size as him, but she would not be ready yet to even carry a clutch of eggs so that's why I gotta wait until she grows but um uh let me think let me think also when you let your um turtles hibernate it's um a lot better for them they have less health issues even though sometimes they could get sick because it gets too cold but you should try to Keep the um, temperature at least at 40, 30 degrees. So, yeah, probably even less than that, maybe. Maybe, like, yeah. I'm not really too sure on the exact temperature, but that my turtles hibernate at, but I know that they hibernate this winter and last winter, so. But, um, anyways, um,. When your turtles are hibernating, they don't get as much sunlight, or they don't come up to bask. So what you can do is you can take your turtles out and put them in a closed environment like this. And have a heat lamp come down so that they can warm up. Um, in some of my past videos, if you go to my channel and you look at my turtles in the shower video that'll explain to you um, what this is actually kind of doing as well but this minus the water and the warm water in there um, this actually just helps strengthen their shell because when your turtles aren't basking um, sometimes their shells get weaker and their shells will start to flake off their scoots will so you want to make sure that that doesn't happen to your turtle. You can try adding a little bit of calcium to their diet, all that kind of stuff. But I just suggest doing this. It will help them get through it. And this also, like, if you're worried about, oh, well, it's cold outside and you're making it warm. Well, no, I'm really not. Because when it's cold, or in the wintertime, there's always... There's always going to be little warm days. And in here, it's only like 60 degrees. So, it's actually simulating a warm day in the wintertime. Or a little bit of a warm day. Like, just a sudden warm day in the wintertime that will... That turtles actually come out in the wild on these days to get some rays. So, that's one way to help... Keep your turtle as healthy as you can. Um, do you have any 
additional questions or ideas or anything, just comment, rate, and subscribe and inbox me at the Monster Turtle. So, I'll see y'all later.